What appears here in the video is built on insights I have at the moment. However, I reserve the right to change my insights at any time, and if I do I may delete or replace content on the channel. So take the video under limited warranty. Death versus Annihilation What is death and what is the difference between death and extinction? So if we look at a dead body that everyone agrees is called dead, we will immediately notice that it lacks the wisdom of life. For example, the heart is ready to beat, but it does not beat. Why? Because it lacks the wisdom of life. The lungs are right for respire, but they are not respire. Again, he lacks the wisdom of life. He is allowed to speak, but he does not speak. I mean it can be said that death is a process in which the wisdoms of life were lost from the body. But death is not a finite process, meaning it can be resurrected, right? If an electric shock is given to her dead body, there is a chance she will still be resurrected. So by and large, death is a loss of life wisdom, but reversibly, meaning one can sometimes be resurrected and rehabilitated back. So it is important to emphasize that, you can recover from death and be resurrected. Unlike extinction, these are stages of such loss that can no longer be resurrected. And we'll talk more about extinction. So by and large, as we have said, death is the loss of life wisdoms. And the wisdom of life is the wisdom necessary for the existence of life. Now there is full of life wisdom that is necessary to be in man. There are life wisdoms that define the body, and they are called physical image, and there are life wisdoms that define the abilities of the body, to see, to speak, to digest, and they do not define the body itself. So these are wisdoms, called spiritual image. And if it lacking from the wisdom of life, it indicates the beginning of a death process. A process in which there is still a body, but the spiritual part that is supposed to activate the body, is simply defective or not functioning at all. Now let's look at examples of physical image wisdom, wisdom such as shape, flexibility, and rigidity, these are some of the wisdoms that together make up a physical image. And there are wisdoms that define additional abilities of the body, such as speech, thinking, moving, and recovery. These are wisdoms that do not define the body itself. Now in a dead body, one can see that the physical image is still there, the shape is still there, and the skin is still supple at first, so if not much time has passed, then one can try to give an electric shock and awaken it to life. So it turns out that in the dead body the whole problem is in the spiritual image, because the spiritual image is simply missing and not functioning. From this I deduced that a lack of wisdom from the spiritual image, is called death while a lack of wisdom from the physical image, it is already called extinction. Now even in extinction, there are losses that can be recovered from, as one recovers from an illness, for example a loss of shape. If a person has lost part of the tissue of the skin, he will have a wound, then it is a small loss, and therefore he can still heal and reproduce the tissue. But there are losses that if they come, then they can no longer be recovered. For example in a shape loss, then if you lose a general loss, like a whole limb, hand or leg that has been completely cut, or if you lose a feature such as the elasticity feature, i.e. if the elasticity of all skin or muscles in the body disappears, there is already a loss that cannot be healed. So there is a death that is such a terminal death that there is no going back from it, a complete disadvantage, not even an electric shock will bring it back to life, and this final death is already the beginning of extinction. And there are two types of death, there are deaths that the spiritual image do not work properly in the body, i.e. they exist but lack life wisdom, so they function poorly and incompletely, if for example a person acts like a killer, then he risks being hated to prevent further murder on his part. This is a situation where a person is called dead in his life, his life is not alive, and there is a death where the spiritual image do not act at all in the body. We understood? There are spiritual image who are simply missing, or damaged, or stupid, on the other hand there is death where the spiritual image do not act at all, it is called final death. Now, there are seven distinguish in the body, and some of them, these are the following distinguish, body, senses, and personality, when senses and personality are called spiritual, because they do not define the body itself, but only the addition of the body's abilities. So there is a physical image who defines the body and there are spiritual image who define the added abilities of the body. So it can be said that there are levels of life wisdom, when by and large if one loses life wisdom is called by names such as, stupid, murderer, suicidal, sick, dead, or extinction, 
all these are stages of losing life wisdom I mean are steps on the path to total extinction. And you probably will not be surprised to find that today most people are murderers or accomplices to murder and murder financiers, because most people today eat meat or eggs. So there are life wisdoms that if you lose them are called fools, and there are life wisdoms that if you lose them are called sick, and there are levels of life wisdoms that if you lose them are called dead, and there are life wisdoms that if you lose them then are called extinction. And as such they describe stages of extinction on the way to complete extinction. Just understand how much nature is not interested in extincting us, and how many stages of warning it gives us before the extinction from which there is no return. So, to sum up. There are several levels of death, and death is when one loses from the wisdoms of life, for every standard of life that descends from it, it has its own name, that is, they are different levels of death, and as we have said that in a dead body it have lacks of life wisdom but not all wisdom is lacking, and therefore it can still be resurrected. Here too, a person can act but act stupidly because he lacks life wisdom, wisdom called life links, insights into life, and although one can correct stupidity and get back to acting right, still man in such a situation is called dead. Most people today are dead in their lives. We all lack some wisdom of life, but not all the wisdom of life is lacking so we can still be resurrected and repair our way, who will, and we will can continue to exist like earth, stones, ornamental trees, and sun. That they do not fight nature and therefore nature does not extinct them. So what did we learn? We have learned that death begins already in man's spiritual discernions, and nothing dead remains dead forever, so we all deserve a stage of complete annihilation eventually if we do not change our path. Our body breaks down and disappears, which is the difference between earth, ornamental trees, or sun, and animals today. Earth ornamental trees and sun continue to exist forever, they continue to actually live, why do they continue to exist and which animals die? Because animals today do not live right, they lack the life wisdom of reciprocity and wholeness, to live without extincting anything, and without instilling corruption in their body. Today all animals are almost corrupt, an abandoned cow destroys grass and flowers, an abandoned horse destroys stalks, an abandoned giraffe destroys leaves, and an abandoned lion destroys animals, but only man can live reciprocally and thrive on fresh fruit, and also let animals eat peeled fruit without their seeds. Life can be achieved without murder and without destruction. Now, there are full of extinct animals, and I argue that if we fail to feed a lion cub with fruits like avocado and corn, then it is better for these predators to become extinct on their own, eat themselves, than to allow them to devour other animals and continue killing the world. Just to mention I have cats under the house, and they eat avocados and corn. And there is an avocado the size of three fists, as if nature says, you can try to feed even a large animal like a lion and feed it with a suitable avocado. So the difference between a final death and a final extinction is, that a final death can be resurrected, while a final extinction cannot be resurrected. So if you once heard the wish that in the future the dead will be resurrected, now you understand that the meaning is for any man whose body has not yet hardened and begun to decay. And we too are included in this wish there will be a desire that we will correct our way and start living a natural and considerate life. In our temporary channel, we deal with all sorts of interesting areas. We will present here instructive natural phenomena. And we will talk here about a worldview that gives meaning to life and hope for a better future. If you are interested in this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified of any new video that comes up. And see you next time. Writing and Editing Yohai Yinan, Elhiani Illustration Clips iStockphoto.com Translation Google's translation, narration, Microsoft Azure, voice. Eric, there is no copyright on this content, and any useful use may be made in whole or in part. I was the voice of US WaveNet G in Google TTS.